two uh, heaters running in here to warm up the walls and once that's done we'll get started. perfect on the first coat. That took me a long time to learn. Well, I gotta tape that joint. I've seen people put the tape, the mesh tape into the wet mud. I, I don't know, I've just never done it that way. I've seen people do it. I don't know which way is better. Can't find the end. I just learned this from watching my dad. You guys notice I remembered my tool belt? It's a big step for me. Just remembering it in the first place. Now the next level, of tool belt using is remember to put your tools back in the tool belt instead of putting them on the floor. Again, this, this doesn't have to be perfect. We're not really sanding this coat. I'm just going to go over it with the edge of my knife and knock down high spots when I go to do my second coat. This is more of a more of a video for people who aren't good at drywall like me. If you're already good at drywall, you should probably watch a different video. Or just enjoy this and laugh at my folly. Yeah, just pushing this into the mud. Make sure it's stuck. I started to run out uh, of fresh pieces of drywall at the end so some of these joints are, don't have the beveled edge butted together and the, the way that I handle that is I build it up high in the middle and then feather it out on either side I don't know if that's the right way it's just kind of what I figured out works for me so just knocking down that high stuff 
real lightly. I don't want to take it down too much. Go like that. Try to be a perfectionist until the until you get towards the end, towards that last finished coat. The second coat's a little bit more important than the first coat. You gotta gradually increase your pickiness, and then if you do it right, you'll barely do any sanding left-handed. You could probably do your first coat left-handed; it wouldn't matter as long as you took care of the high spots. I'm just trying to. Smooth that top in out. scrape off with my knife but because it's in a recessed joint it'll finish all right so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go ground to every corner and do one side of every corner this is this is probably the best tip that I have to offer um, I think it's a good way to get a good result and, it, and you don't have to spend money on those drywall corner tools in my opinion, all those things will do is frustrate you. Taking my um, eight inch knife and putting the inside corner in and putting pressure on that inside corner. And I'm just running this down. And that's it, and we're gonna leave it. And the secret is you don't do the other corner, the other side of the corner until this side is dry. We're gonna resist the temptation to fix that, all right? Because it's not high, so we'll fix it when we go over it on the next coat. successful with that like half the time. That's going to take a little bit on the next coat to fix. But 
big thing is, is don't try to fix it while it's wet. Usually you just mess it up more. Or at least that's what I do. Maybe if you're good at driving while you don't. But. corners are dry to the point where I won't mess them up with my knife if I do this side. So I let this side dry, more or less. You can do this, the corners with, you know, a straight knife. You just have to let it dry, one side of it. It, I don't know how clean it looks on camera, but I mean, it'll take like a two second sanding after the next coat and it'll, it'll be a really good corner. All right, it's 145. I've got two coats on everywhere. I need to wait for it to dry. I just remembered to eat lunch. <laughs> so I, I want to update you guys on what I decided to do about the driveway. So I, I needed new tires on my truck and instead of getting city tires again I got all terrains like the first level of all terrains and so that's part one <laughs> part two is uh, when it's not so muddy I can get a four and a half ton excavator delivered and picked back up for a, for a weekend for 300 bucks with a bucket I'm gonna fix it as best I can myself, grade it with the blade, do as much ditching as I can, probably put in a culvert right above that super steep section and see how that holds up. A couple people told me that prices were fair for how much work it was, and I don't doubt that, but I just can't bring myself to par with that much money all at once, um, especially when that puts me halfway to a really good machine, which is what I'd rather do. I'm gonna temporarily fix it myself, see how long it lasts, and then probably take everything that I make from the channel and everything I make from side jobs and start saving up for something. I don't know what I'll buy, but my problem is I need like three different machines and a bigger truck and I can't do all that. So I just gotta figure out one thing to buy and get it and make do with it. Okay, so this has three coats of mud on it and uh, I'm pretty happy with how it came out. I'm not the greatest at drywall, so I think this is looking pretty good. It needs a little bit of a little bit of sanding and a little touch up here and there, but by and large, I, I think it's going to look pretty nice. So let's get this primed and painted.